Here's how to tie the double fisherman's knot. It's used to create a very strong connection between two ropes of similar diameters. Start by placing the ends of each rope next to each other. Put your thumb on the first rope and go around it with the second one. Now go around it once again, this time forming an X. Finally, take out your thumb and pass the working end through both of these loops. This is called a double overhand stopper knot and you can check that it's tied correctly by making sure that the strands are parallel on one side and forming an X on the other one. Now form another double overhand stopper knot only in the other direction and with the other rope. To finish the knot, pull on both ends of the rope. This connection is so strong that it can be used for life-threatening situations. For example, you can connect two shorter ropes and then use it for rock climbing. Just make sure to leave the ends at least a few inches long to account for slippage because as you tighten the knot, the ends can shorten a bit, especially under very heavy loads. It's a bit hard to untie but not impossible to do with a bit of patience. Here's how to tie the Zeppelin bend knot. Start by creating a bite at the end of each rope and create two loops. The first one should be facing downwards and the other one should be facing upwards. Now take the one that's facing upwards and place it over the one that's facing downwards. Take the end of the first rope and go through the place where both of them intersect. Now take the end of the other rope and do the same thing just from the other end. To tighten this knot, pull on each of these ropes individually from all directions until the knot feels very tight. You can use this knot whenever you need to connect two ropes together because it's very strong and it's also very easy to untie. It's often used by climbers, mountaineers, arborists and in similar applications. Here's how to tie the Ashley stopper knot, sometimes also referred to as the oyster man's knot. Start by creating a medium sized bite near the end of the rope. Then fold it down like this and make the left loop slightly larger than the other one. Now pass the larger loop through the smaller one and tighten this knot. After that, take the end of the rope and go through this loop and tighten it by pulling on the standing end. To check that it's tied correctly, turn it slightly and you should see three lobes that are similar in size. This stopper knot is so good because it's very bulky, it's very strong and it's also very easy to untie. Here's how to tie a figure 8 follow-through knot, also sometimes referred to as the rewoven figure of 8 knot. Start by creating a figure 8 knot at the end of your rope. Take a rather long piece of rope, then go under, up, under and through the final opening. The finished knot should look something like this and it should have a rather long piece of rope at the end of it. Now take the end of the rope and go over the attachment point that you'll be using. Now you need to retrace the figure of eight that you just made, just in the other direction. To make sure that it's tied correctly, make sure that it has three sets of parallel ropes on each side. It's a very strong knot that's most commonly used in climbing for attaching to the harness, but you can also use it any time you need to create a strong connection to a fixed object. The knot tightens by itself when it's pulled, so it doesn't require a stopper knot. But a lot of people, especially climbers, like to add another double overhand stopper knot for additional safety. Here's how to tie the Blake's hitch knot. Take the end of the rope and go around the main line four times in the upwards direction. Two, three, four. So you have four loops over here. Now you have to take the end of the rope and go through the bottom two loops. So through one and through the second one so that the tag end exits over to the side here between the four loops. But make sure to tighten and dress it properly so that in the end it looks like this to avoid any slippage. It's usually used by arborists to climb up trees because if you pull on it it grips very well but if you put your hand over here it slides up very easily. Usually a carabiner is tied in over here 
with a midline clove hitch by creating two of these loops, then putting the other one behind the first one and putting your carabiner through both of them. So essentially what you do is clip in your climbing harness over here and then slowly climb up or descend the rope using this slide and grip knot. It is a fairly secure knot, but I would personally tie in another stopper knot on the working end to avoid it from slipping through over here. To learn other useful knots, subscribe to our channel.